Oh, so. yes. We are not ready. I'm yeah. Not ready. Are you speaking for all of us here, <laughs> or you're not ready? Okay. It's just kind of a roller coaster, right? We've been in the 80s. Now we're jumping up to the upper 90s, then mm. back to the 80s. We're kind of just in for it all this week. Can we potentially see 100 over the next 48 hours? Possibly on Tuesday. Oh, gosh, we'll get very right. close to it. Oh. Uh, the next couple of days, they're going to be the hottest of the year for sure. Let's take a look outside right now. A couple of different spots across the valley, all sitting in the upper 80s. Yesterday, we topped out at 85 degrees. So today, we are a little bit warmer than that all across the state. Right now, te temperatures are much warmer than just 24 hours ago. Even up in Flagstaff right now, it's a gorgeous day there, 64 degrees. You can see the snow there on the peaks, uh, but actually because of the warmer weather up there, it's starting to melt some of that snow and some of the roads near Mount Eldon, the Schultz Pass area uh, in Flagstaff. Those areas now are flooded or are having flooding issues because of the way the snow is melting because of the hot temperatures. So yeah, already getting very warm all across the state. The rest of the evening will be a really nice one, especially once the sun goes down. Those temperatures will feel very nice out there the next couple of hours dropping into the mid to upper 70s by the time we get to 9 o'clock. Tonight into early tomorrow morning, we'll get to about 61 in a couple of locations across the valley. Many areas will be in the mid to upper 50s, so we're going to start our work week off pretty nice and mild, but those temperatures are really just going to skyrocket as we head into tomorrow. Take a look at this 90 degrees by the noontime hour, 97 by 4 o'clock. So again, this is about a 10 to 15 degree temperature jump compared to where many areas are at today. So prepare yourself tomorrow. Uh, maybe the best thing if you have any hikes planned or outdoor activities, maybe push that off until the middle of the work week because then we'll cool things down just a little bit. In the meantime, we have this ridge of high pressure setting right in over the region, and this is what's warming those temperatures up to the upper 90s, both Monday and Tuesday. Right behind that, we have this low pressure system, and this is going to bring more clouds by the time we get to Thursday, kick up the wind, and that will also drop our temperatures. So it will take us from the 90s back into the 80s. We're near record territory, though. Our record for tomorrow is 198 for Tuesday and we could get to that record by the time we get to Tuesday. So again, prepare for a hot couple of days. There's that cool down to only 80 by Friday. So there's the roller coaster we're, we're looking at for this week. We do warm things up back into the 90s by the weekend.